Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2011, it's a Honda CRV. And the problem we have is that we're going to actually listen to it together and you'll hear what problem it is. When you start this vehicle up, this thing is making like a, such a racket that even if you turn the radio up inside the vehicle, you can still hear it. So it's pretty loud. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to diagnose where the noise is coming from and then we're going to go ahead and repair it. So first thing we're going to do is let's go up front, let's listen to it, see what it is, and uh, then we'll go from there. So uh, come on, let's go up front and listen and see what it sounds like. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can hear that noise. It is pretty loud. So now we got to try to pinpoint where it's coming from. Uh, I know it's a, a noise coming from the drive area, which is right up the side here. So we're going to pinpoint where it's coming from, and then we're going to go about repairing it. I want to mention this to you now. You're going to be in there. The vehicle's going to be running. Be careful. Don't touch anything you're going to hurt yourself with. You can lose a finger or, or, or worse pretty badly. Now you hear that changes right there? That changes actually when the air conditioner compressor turns off and on is when it changes pitch. So I have a feeling it's going to be a bad compressor, but we're going to check just to make sure before we go ahead and do anything. So let me show you what we use. Two things we're going to do. We're going to use a long screwdriver like this or a stethoscope if you have one. But as you know, a stethoscope is not that long. So what you do is you'll take this screwdriver and you'll touch any driven item underneath there, like an idler pulley, a tensioner, whatever, and you'll put it up against your ear and you can actually hear where the noise is coming from. Now this is not going to get you down to the, uh, to the AC compressor. So what we're going to need to do for the compressor is I get a long, a long line like this. You can get any length you need. This is a brake line actually. And what I do is I just attach a rubber hose to the end of the brake line. And now I can put this down anywhere I need to and touch into it any place on the car. And if you put this up against your ear, you'll be able to hear where the noise is coming from. It sounds ridiculous, but believe me, it works very well. And you'll be able to pinpoint exactly where that noise is coming from. So let's, uh, let's check it out and then see where it is. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the... Uh, I'm going to use the screwdriver to listen first. Now this is your power steering. This is your power steering front of the here. We have it called running, so be careful. You're going to lift it up a little bit so you can move it out of your way. And then you'll get down here with this. Okay, so we know... What I do know is I, there is some noise coming from the tensioner. I can hear a slight noise from the tensioner. I know the tensioner is no good, but that's not the majority of the noise. The majority of the noise sounds like it's coming down further from the compressor, so we're going to use that real long in there. You want to be careful when you sneak this down through there. You don't want to hurt yourself or get nailed into a, a pulley or whatever. That noise is absolutely coming from the AC compressor. I had a feeling it was going to be because um, whenever the compressor turns on and off, you can hear the pitch change pretty uh, drastically. Um, so let's make a phone call. We're going to try to locate the compressor, get a price on it, and then we'll call the customer and see what we're going to do. So, uh, all right, let's make a few phone calls and we'll come right back. Okay, we, uh, we made a few phone calls, got some prices, we spoke to the customer and we got the okay to go ahead and replace the compressor and we also are going to change the, uh, the tensioner at the same time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, first of all I'm going to do step by step, I'm going to remove the dry belt so I can gain access to that tensioner. Um, and, but the, the most important thing is we're going to replace that compressor with a new one. 
Now, this AC system has Freon in it, so we are going to suck it down into a vacuum. So we're going to vacuum out all the Freon inside the system, and then we're going to remove the compressor, put the new compressor on, put the new tensioner on, put the drive belt back on, charge it up, and then out the door. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, all right, let me get set up, get some tools over here, and uh, let's get started. Okay. I just want to point out that we had to take this plastic cover off underneath the bottom right up here to gain access to the compressor. Now, as you can see, once that cover is out of the way, that compressor comes out fairly easy. So uh, let me just show you real quick. I just want to see if you can... Now, this is the compressor still attached, but listen to this. Can you hear that? Now, of course, you put the fan belt or drive belt on that and pull it a little tighter, and it's going to wind up with, uh, with making a tremendous amount of noise. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to start disconnecting the compressor and we're going to take it out. But it's going to be tough for me to film it and do it at the same time, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to take out that 10 millimeter bolt there. We're going to unplug this um, plug right here, which is for the compressor. We're going to disconnect that 10 millimeter right there. And then if you see here, you'll see these 12 millimeters here. It looks like 12 anyway. That one, that one that one and that one and then we're going to move these lines out of the way and we're going to pull that compressor out so uh sounds easy but uh we'll see how it goes okay well that's it we got it out on the floor and you can listen to this no doubt in my mind that that's the noise you can actually have a little bit of play in the in the uh the pulley here as well that's why it would change pitch when the compressor would turn on because this bearing in here was no good and it would lock up and it would give you that noise. But that's it. All right, let's get ready, grab the new one and uh, we're going to continue. Okay, now we have the compressor back up. You can see that I put the lines back in right here. We put new O-rings on the lines and we lubricated them with the clean oil before we put it back in and we tightened up the bolts that actually hold this line in and that line up there as well. So both of these are tight and both of them have new O-rings on it and they were lubricated before it was put back together. All right, the next thing we did is we, uh, we plugged in the plug for, the, com for the, uh, the compressor itself and we tightened up the four uh, 12 millimeter bolts that hold the compressor in. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cover right there and we're going to put it back up underneath here and, and put the push, push pins back in. Uh, you know, with the push pins, it's quite simple. You pretty much just push them back in, like by the outside, this piece right here, and then you lock it in place with that. So I'm not going to show you that. That's very simple. But uh, we are going to put it back up underneath here before we lower it back down. So, uh, all right, let me do that, and uh, we're going to continue then. Okay, now... Just, just so you know, I am going to put the drive belt back on. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to film it because i got to get three hands in there at the same time to get that tightened in. So uh, I'm going to get the drive belt on, and then we'll connect up to the machine, pump it into a vacuum, and we'll charge it all up. So uh, let me get the belt on, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, so then we got the compressor back in. we got the drive belt back on. As you can hear, I'm pumping the system down right now to get all of that uh, contaminated air and uh, moisture out of the system. So we're going to pump it down and we're going to charge it back up. And you'll always, most of the time, you'll find underneath the hood, you'll find the label that'll tell you how many ounces of Freon have to go in there. Uh, we do need to charge the system up with compressor oil as well, which we will do when we charge it with Freon. Maximum charge is 17.3 ounces, so we're going to put a little bit over a pound in it because, as you know, a pound is 16 ounces. So we're going to do just a little bit over that, and uh, then we're going to come back and we'll start it up and uh, make sure that noise is gone. All right, so uh, we'll come back when this finishes pumping up or pumping down, I should say. Okay, we got it all charged up now. Now let's fire it up and make sure our noise is gone. leave this running because you won't be able to hear me when I'm talking but that's it it's nice and quiet you can hear how quiet it is now 
I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to leave my uh, lines connected. I'm going to check the pressures, the high and low side, make sure we're in the normal range, disconnect everything, take it for test drive, and then this job is done and out the door. And when the owner gets in this vehicle and starts it up, he's not even going to realize it was his, it's, it's his vehicle. That's how quiet it is compared to how it was before. Okay, this is the best part of the whole job. Let's turn the AC on. Let's take it for a ride and make sure it's nice and cool. You can see already the temperature starting to drop right there. We're just going to shoot around the block with this. But once you take it out on the highway, that's when you'll really see that temperature start to drop when you've got the, uh, the airflow through the condenser. But for now, we're just going to go around the block one time just to see and make sure it's okay, which I can already tell you it's going to be fine. You're right down into the, uh, into the normal range, and the normal range is anywhere from 40, 40 to 50 degrees. And as you can see, we're, we're right at 45 right now. And we just started this up a second ago. So I'm sure it's going to be, uh, it's going to be perfect. All right, let's head back to the shop. And uh, we'll wrap this job up. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.